This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. Dow's up three points at 33,670. Had a pretty decent day yesterday. Still working its way. I can actually draw a little rectangle in right here. <clears throat> and it'll have three connotations. One is, could be making a U-shape or a V-shape pattern to the upside. Uh, well, the first is that it's stuck in a trading band. Second is that it could make a U-shape, V-shape turnaround. Or it could turn around right here to the back to the downside to make the H pattern. So obviously, you always have three patterns sideways, up or down. But in this particular case, it's showing relative strength in relation to the serious uh, turnaround yesterday from the high, from the recovery high. Yesterday, we went to slightly higher high to a leg F in the Chapman Wave methodology, just over uh, 4,300 or just on 4,300. And then pull back sharply to the close. Today's not bad at all. Just down one at 42.67. The day is young. I'll talk about that as we wrap up this particular update. QQQ's had a very sharp pullback yesterday from the higher four days ago. So the whole thing is this. IWM was strong. And today is pulling back just a little bit, a little bit of a give back of yesterday's big gain. You've got gold. At this point, gold is up very sharply, up 23. And that's because the dollar is starting to show weakness again. Dollars down 0.54 and 103.69. The TLT, and this is going to be fascinating because TLT pulled back very sharply. It's trying to establish support, but I think that 100 to 99 level on the TLT, the bonds, is really important to hold. Crude oil, <clears throat> crude oil tried to rally yesterday. It's just stuck in a range. It's down the 34 ticks at 72.19. So what I'd be looking at, the only way I would see a really sharp sell-off is that after yesterday's big turnaround in the QQQ and the uh, uh, and the S and P, if there was a huge follow through and the S and P was down more than 38 to 42 points by the end of the day, with the Dow pulling back sharply, as long as you've got this divergence between some strength, some weakness, it kind of ameliorates that big sell off, but it also stops the upside. So we, I think we're in a trading ban today. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. We'll talk about it in greater detail. See you in a few moments.